There are all these different steps of development in fetal life that are set up by nature in a very determined way and they have to go just right. Being born too small or too early have a dramatic impact on the development of that child and even when that child grows, impact on their future health. We tend to be so focused on what we have to deal with at the moment. I think it's important to look back up the chain and see what the modifiable factors are. There are more and more studies in different countries on different continents that are well done and confirmatory that in and outdoor air pollution is a very strong risk factor for preterm births and low birth weight. The case for air pollution contributing to birth outcomes happened over decades. It started with the recognition that smoking in pregnancy is bad for a woman's health and bad for the fetal development. By the 90s, every woman was told to stop smoking in pregnancy. Cigarette smoking, you're actually getting smoke into your system the same way as cooking with dirty fuel or living in a very polluted area. There are many, many risk factors that can cause these adverse birth outcomes. How strong of a risk factor air pollution is depends on the individual situation. However, at a population level, it has a large impact because the whole population's birth weight curve is shifted by 10 grams to lower weight. That may not mean much at the mean of the curve, because the mean of the curve is the average birth weight, and those babies are probably just fine. But it means a lot at the end of the curve. Those children who are already vulnerable with a very low birth weight, then being so low birth weight that they can't cope anymore. There's also lots of disparities. In the United States or in other developed country settings, Poor people live very close to major highways or industrial sources. In low-income countries, a certain segment of the population are cooking with coal, wood, in mostly an enclosed environment. In many of these cultures, it is the role of the mother to cook so by default, the mothers are highly exposed. Working in Peru, in Tibet, seeing mother and baby right there with the most direct exposure really brought home the impact of air pollution for me. I think it's so important that the Global Burden of Disease Project is really addressing air pollution and low birth weight preterm birth. This hasn't really been brought into focus for health professionals or policymakers, I think, in a, a meaningful way. These risk factors that are with us all the time often get ignored. When I came to LA, I for the first time felt that in my lungs. We have seen studies over and over again showing these outcomes happen when you're exposed. It is something I grew up with you could brush out you know, black particle or black soot from your nose. People are still living with that. If you want a healthy population, if you want a healthy economy, the best place to start is in the environment where the people live. These larger issues often are invisible, yet they're so important if we're ever going to solve the larger problem.